Before you start building the skeleton, it is important to cover some ground rules about rotations. There have been many papers about rotations in 3D, gimbal lock limitations, 90 degree and 180 degree flips, and other related issues. Here, we will not attempt to dissect all these problems that have already been addressed numerous times. Instead, you will follow a set of rules that will minimize the chance for such problems to occur. Understanding how rotations work in a 3D application makes it easier to decide which viewport to draw the bone branch in. As much as possible, you want to favor rotations on the Z-axis. For example, to build a leg or a spine, you'd want to use a side view like the left view. This way, when you locally rotate the leg, for example, the main rotation of the thigh or calf is happening on the Z-axis. You'd still need to animate the X and Y rotations, for the thigh, mind you. The calf only rotates in Z, but these would represent secondary, less extreme motions. In the case of an arm, you would create the bones in the top view to favor the local rotation in Z again. The rotation in Y is only important at the shoulder level, since the forearm, like the calf, only rotates in local Z. As far as the rotation in X is concerned, that effect is minimal. The reason for favoring the Z axis is based on how rotations are evaluated in 3ds Max and in 3D software in general. The default order of rotational computations is XYZ. The final rotation is determined once all three axes have been evaluated. This means a change in X or Y affects all three axes, but a change in Z affects only that angle as it is evaluated last. Therefore, it is important that major rotations happen on that angle. You could potentially change the axis rotation order in the motion panel. However, be aware that most gaming engines are only compatible with an XYZ rotation axis order. It is often simpler to keep that in mind and make it a habit of favoring the Z rotation axis when creating bones. This is precisely what you will do in the next movie. One last thing to consider before moving on. You may want to set up a layering system to help with scene management. This makes it easier to deal with hiding and freezing various objects. Right-click an empty area of the main toolbar and choose Layers. The Layers toolbar appears. Select all the components that make the zombie and choose the Create New Layer button on the Layers toolbar. Give your new layer a name such as Mesh. Ensure the Move Selection to New Layer option is enabled and click OK. A new layer is created and the zombie's visibility and free status can now be controlled through this layer. If you don't want objects to show in gray when frozen, you would need to remove that option in the object's properties. Deselect all objects in the viewport and create two new layers named Controllers and Bones. You'll use those as you start building the rig in the next movie.